ma managing lack of trust, going back to the managing to the lowest common denominator. So it's not about putting in a checklist to ensure that we did all of the required steps in the right order. It's more about, well, we just don't trust Jim to make the right decision in general. And so we have to, t we have to tell him how to do everything. Um, that that's where I think it becomes highly, highly problematic. And, and again, if you're in an organization where you have a playbook where they where they say, if you are to make a telephone call, here's the script on how you have to do it. And wait a minute, I'm not even working in a call center. I'm just a manager at this company trying to manage a team. But now I have a script that says, you know, you have to say, if you answer the phone, you have to say, hello, my name is blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, never in a million years. Is that, is that making me a better person, better employee, more, you know, valuable employee? That is a, you don't trust us to be professional when we answer the phone. So you have to tell us how to do it. That's a problem. Yeah. It, it's like, think about any, any company that, that you deal with and some of the responses or greetings that you get. You can tell when it's been beaten into the employees, this is exactly what you say and what you only you say. So they're just following the letter of the procedure. I have to say greetings, you know, yeah. you know, greetings and welcome to X instead of, you know, being able to ad lib at times. Hey, how's it going? Nice day out. Like, and I mean, I do know of a couple stores that I go to from time to time. And you could tell like the greeting has been beaten into the employees and they, they're not, you know, they're not following through with like what the purpose behind it is, you know, like, yes, we want to make sure everyone is greeted, greeted. Yeah. Like, I, you know, my going back to my retail days, like 20 some years ago, they, they've said like a simple, like, hi, welcome. We're kind of busy at the moment, but someone will be with you soon, you know, solves a lot of customer issues right yeah. out of the gate, especially when you're busy, well, you know, it's... And, yeah. and the person you're working with is not going to have a problem with it. And it just makes the other person, you know, realize, Hey, I've been acknowledged. Okay, great. Sounds good. Thanks. Instead of someone standing there, it's like, is there anybody around? Um, but like, right uh, before I got all, way too off topic, but you know, going into those places where people have lost the point mm -hmm. of why this policy is here. We want to make sure that we greet everybody who comes in um, kind of in this tone just so they they're acknowledged and whatever, whatever the situation is. Um, so like I I've, I've seen that and, you know, think about oh, yeah. any companies you've dealt with, like you just know that they're reciting something. They don't actually mean it. They, they, they don't, you know, maybe they don't even care. Yeah. Well, it, and it's inauthentic, you know? Um, and, and so let's, let's talk about that a little bit because I think, it's an important part of this conversation from giving employees a rigid, you must repeat these exact steps for everything you do versus uh, here's what we're trying to create from an experience standpoint. And here's some guardrails and here's some ideas on how you may want to do that. And here's our culture and our values. And we trust you to create an experience within, you know, that kind of system. I think it's two completely different conversations. And I, I went out to eat at a restaurant and I'm, I'm going to uh, substitute the name of the restaurant from office space in place of the actual restaurant I went to. But, you know, I'm sure we've all had this experience. Like you're sitting there, the waiter comes up and says, Hey, welcome to Tchotchkes. My name is John. I'm going to be taking care of you today. If you look on our menu, we have our special down the left hand side. Let us know. And I'll be back to get your drink order. I'm like, are you even acknowledging that we're sitting here? Like you're just, you're on repeat, like it's burned into your brain that you've been told that this is your script you have to use to greet customers. It's inauthentic, it's cold, it doesn't It doesn't create a connection, you know? And it's like, you can change that up and say, look, we're trying to create a really amazing experience for our customers that dine here. You know, be happy to greet them. And, and here's some things that you can talk about. Now we trust you, go connect with people. Two completely different things. Totally, and so, I mean, this movie, I enjoyed it. It's an enjoyable movie. Like, you know, you're, you're talking about office space. I have another movie reference for you. So we sat down over the weekend after we put the kiddo to bed, we're both tired. We're like, we just want to kind of watch a movie to just enjoy. So we put on Ryan Reynolds free guy. Have you seen previews um, for it? Nah. It's, it, it's basically a non-player character from a video game become self-aware. So 
it's it's interesting. So he starts out like his mornings, he has his routine. He says the same things all the time. And then something triggers something in the algorithm for his character's code that all of a sudden he becomes self-aware and he becomes mm -hmm. artif artif you know, artificial intelligence. And, um, you know, you, you made me think of that too. He has his script until finally, like one day he wants to start going off script and his buddy from the game, his best friend from the game is like, no, you don't say that. We don't, we don't say that, you know, no, this is what we're supposed to do. Uh, but like, it's the same concept yeah. where you're talking about, you know, just the whole concept of non-playable characters from video games. They have their script. They say their script. They don't veer from the script. Maybe, you know, in a role-playing game, it's a character that asks you a question of one of three responses that as the player you can make, and then they'll have one of three responses or, or something like that, but they don't veer from that. Mm -hmm. And you, that, that's the exact image I have with some of these, you know, the, these companies where they over operationalize everything. See, I said it um, to mm -hmm. the point where the employees become non-player characters mm -hmm. in the experience that their customers are receiving. I love that analogy, by the way, because, yeah, I mean, that's it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, they're, they're NPCs. They just have their pre-programmed algorithm, and they kind of do their thing, and they have their set. Yeah, I mean, that's it, right? Like, that's what you're creating, and it's it's a very dull and, again, inauthentic experience, you know? Mm -hmm.